Okay, uh, to go back a little bit in the history, this plant was built for district heating supply and because there was also the waste disposal issue, so it was combined uh, waste to energy. And um, during the time after Seveso and the dioxin discussions, people become suddenly aware that there is a problem of dioxins and so it became a very big discussion about accepting or not accepting waste incineration. And normal people have some understanding for waste incineration because they sometimes do it in their own stove at home or in their backyard. Yeah? And then it was a political issue because one party was ruling Vienna and four opposition parties, of course, used the chance to challenge the mayor accusing that it's negligent, it's a high risk, and it's unacceptable. And then, of course, there was economic interests of landfill owners in the background who would have liked to close down the waste to energy business rather to bring the waste to the landfills. So there was a very intense discussion and interestingly in the public opinions, in the published opinion, let me put it this way, it looked like most people are against the waste to energy. Now in the big disputes and discussions, finally it was a thorough analysis of environmentally competent people who helped in the discussion to show that the facts are not against but for waste to energy. And then the public acceptance was still at stake and so the mayor himself, he was a very wise person, he asked Friedensreich Hundertwasser who was a very well-known a green person and an artist, he asked him if he could do something about the appearance of this plant. And uh, Friedensreich Hundertwasser took a whole year of discussion and going to check his um, spirit and his conscience whether he would do that to make this plant look friendly, beautiful, pleasing and be called a betrayer by some of the fundamentalists from the Green Party. And he wrote a long letter at the end explaining why he decided that we needed waste to energy. And this is available, I can show you on the white book Waste to Energy, which I have published, you find it on our website, you find it in the internet, about waste to energy in Austria. And so people then also realized it does not have to look bad. Then interestingly, there was a public opinion poll, qualified opinion poll, checking out what the public opinion really is because there was some suspicion that the published opinion is not reflecting the public opinion. So the interesting result was that um, almost 50% were in favor of the waste to energy plant Spitelau. About 47% or so had no opinion, they did not care because the waste was taken care of and they did not see a problem. And about 3% were actually opposing, 3%. But they made so much noise that the impression was that the public opinion is against waste to energy. 